Derby Foods, makers of creamy and smooth spreading Peter Pan peanut butter. America's favorite. And American Motors, builders of Nash automobiles, Kelvinator home appliances, and Hudson Motor Cars. Present Walt Disney's Disneyland. Each week as you enter this timeless land, one of these many worlds will open to you. Frontierland. Tall tales and true from the legendary past. Tomorrowland. Promise of things to come. Adventureland. The wonder world of nature's own realm. Fantasyland, the happiest kingdom of them all. Presenting this week from Fantasyland, an adventure in the Magic Kingdom. And now your host, Walt Disney. Hold on, Dick, wait a minute. Yes? There's been a slight change. We're having a hostess for this program. Oh? And since many people find this hostess a bit hard to understand, suppose you take over and do the talking for her. But Walt, I've made plans to go to the studio party at Disneyland. I've considered that, Dick. Now just be patient, we'll get you there in a hurry. Oh, by the way, I'd like to introduce the official voice of Disneyland, Mr. Dick Wesson. Well, how do you do? I'm very pleased to be able to appear before you. And now, let's call our hostess. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your television set. This is a pixie bell. The sound is much too high for human ears. Oh, there you are, Tink. Dick, will you do the honors? And now your hostess, Tinkerbell. Tink, our friends in the audience have told me they like the way you introduce our program. And they'd like to see you do more, so I've decided... No, 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 Tink. Hold it, hold it. You're jumping the gun. Now come over here. Sit down. Now pay attention. I'm appointing you special hostess to take our audience on a flight to Disneyland. You'll first drop in on the studio party in our new realm, Holidayland, and join them on a tour of the park. It's a big occasion for our employees and their families. They've turned out 4,000 strong, and there's going to be... No, 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 Tink. No, no, I'm not flying down. Hey, get that stuff off of me. <laughs> if you're familiar with the story of Peter Pan, you know that a little sprinkling of Tinkerbell's fairy dust can make you fly. <laughs> I think. I want you to be a good hostess. Show them everything, especially the new places. Tink, wait a minute. Haven't you forgotten something? Aren't you going to take the audience along? Come on, everybody. Things are really quiet down there in the studio today. Not an artist is stirring, not even Mickey Mouse. You know, if it wasn't for Tink, we'd be driving to the Disney studio party in those cars down there. we're going to zero in on the Disneyland station and land at Main Street's Town Square. Nope. I guess our pixie pilot is going to give us the full aerial treatment, sort of a party preview before we land. Tink is heading straight for Fantasyland. Naturally, she'd want to show it off first. If you visit Sleeping Beauty's castle, you'll find her story vividly portrayed in many lifelike scenes. Tink is keeping a safe distance from Captain Hook's pirate ship. Mistus!
Down there is the rootin'est, tootin'est, shootin'est land of all, Frontierland. It's a great place to warm up your six-shooters. The Mark Twain's the proud queen of Frontierland's big river. Later, we'll border for an upriver excursion. There's Fort Wilderness. Our studio gang is going to defend it against an Indian attack. Guns and ammunition will be furnished free, of course. Seventeen different tribes are assembling in the Indian village to perform their ceremonial dances for our Disney party. Tom Sawyer's Island. We're going to ferry over to it on Huck Finn's raft, explore some caves and try a little cane pole fishing. Those Adventureland jungles are swarming with big game with bigger appetites. It's certainly no place for us to make a landing. In Tomorrowland, we'll see the 21st century in action. Our studio square dancers have rehearsed for a high-altitude hoedown in those Astro Jets. There's Atopia, the safest superhighway in the world today, and it's mostly kids in the driver's seats. We're losing altitude. I guess Tink is bringing us in for a landing at Holiday Land. This big new addition to Disneyland is an ideal gathering place for organizations visiting the park. Before we head for the park, let's look in on the studio party. We're just in time for the big potato derby. They're off and running. Uh-oh, number 13 dropped his bit. And coming down the stretch is the winner by a potato's eyelash. In this contest, table manners are left at home. It's all good, clean fun. Well, anyway, it's delicious. Under Holiday Land's big top, the Musketeers are putting on their own show for moms and dads. And other family fans. Some of the studio families are staying the weekend at the Disneyland Hotel. Let's join them. Now Tinkerbell wants to take us into the park. But why walk? Let's thumb a free ride to the main entrance. Passenger train E.P. Ripley now arriving on track number one from a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. Later we'll board one of these trains for a good old-fashioned family excursion. Through this tunnel, we magically leave the world of today and enter the land of America's yesterday. This is Disneyland's Town Square at the beginning of Main Street, USA. Tink wants us to see the dedication plaque at the base of the flagpole. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here, age relives fond memories of the past, and here, youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Well, we missed the bus. So let's hop aboard a horse car and ride down Main Street as they did in Grandpa's day. Just as in the gay 90 days, the 
horses here outnumber the automobiles. Shady Plaza is the heart and hub of Disneyland. From here, you can enter all the different realms. For Tomorrowland and the future, just take the Avenue of Flags. And Sleeping Beauty's Castle landmarks the way into the kingdom of Fantasyland. Families come from all parts of the world to visit here. Frontierland in America's rip roar and past lies that away, partners. But first, we're going to board a river launch and explore Adventureland's exotic jungles. Orchids grow without soil. Every tree has a corsage. Butterflies out here are gigantic. Look at that wingspan. Now we're on the mysterious Mekong River of Asia. Over there, the ruins of an ancient Cambodian shrine. All that remains is the Golden Buddha and a fortune in jewels. That cobra's caretaker now. Watch out for that big python. Everything is out to meet our boat today. Steady, folks. Watch those ripples up ahead. Here they come, quick, pull in your hands. I wonder what those vultures are waiting for. There's your answer. No one is invited to this family's dinner. Up ahead is a friendlier couple. 
Now you can tell the folks back home that you've had a nodding acquaintance with Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe. We're in big game country, so look sharp, everyone. Quick, over there! That rhino is two tons of dynamite. Hope he doesn't charge our boat. Take it easy, big boy. We're just passing by. Phew, made it. Another tusker must be his mate. And here's double trouble. Water buffalo. There's a more refreshing sight. Schweitzer Falls. These falls were named after the famous Dr. Schweitzer, who, as you know, watch it, the stern's going under. Boy, that was close. Last week, we had to bail out the boat. There's something up ahead. Hippopotami. The traffic is terrific along here. It's too late to turn back now. I sure hope one of these big bruisers doesn't come up under our boat. Charging hippo. Hang on, everybody. Here he comes. If he hits us, we're sunk. Uh oh, a gorilla. Let's get out of here. Another one. We're surrounded. go behind the falls this time. It's going to be close. Hope you don't mind a few drops of water. And now comes the most dangerous part of our trip. The return to civilization and the crowded freeways. Come back again, folks. You're the bravest party I've ever had. Okay, Tink, lead the way. Many of our guests dressed especially for this occasion, including these Indians. Davy, those are real Indians. The arrival of the stagecoach always was a big occasion. And no wonder. Every frontier town has its bad man. And its brave sheriff to enforce the law. But there's a more attractive kind of dancing inside, so let's join our Disney party in the Golden Horseshoe Dance Hall. The Golden Horseshoe keeps faith with show business traditions of the Old West, and it was appropriately named in memory of Pecos Bill's legendary sweetheart, Slewfoot Sue. The songs, dances, and entertainment are typical of pioneer times. This famous Frontierland review is free to all and plays to full houses several times each day. The show's frontier comedian with his snappy patter and carpet bag of tricks is a great favorite. <laughs> and some lucky kid always gets into the act here and receives a souvenir for doing it.
The Golden Horseshoe cast features several well-known headliners who keep up a fast, hilarious pace. No dance hall review would be complete without its can-can dancers. Meanwhile, the boys outside are still at it. Some days, Black Bart just can't hit a thing. Oh well, on the frontier, life must go on. And it does. frontier town of Rainbow Ridge. Folks can board a mine train here for a trip across the painted desert and through the caverns of Rainbow Mountain. Some prefer traveling by stagecoach or covered wagon. It seems that some of our hardier Disney party pioneers are hitting the trail on a mule train. Let's hop aboard this mine train and our brakeman will point out the sights. Keep a sharp lookout on the trails, folks. You might see some of your dude relatives from back east. This natural bridge was created by centuries of rain, wind, and sandstorms. Of course, Mr. Disney helped nature along a little. At the base of those distant buttes, old Ma Coyote has set up housekeeping. Keep your hands inside the cars, folks. This is cactus country. This one always tries to stick us for a ride. And those cactus critters over there are the seven dwarfs. <laughs> upsets things along here. Now he's done it. Oh well, we've got to face it. These rocks really rock and roll. Never mind your heads, protect your cameras. Now we're entering the famous Rainbow Caverns. These bright colored cascades would make a peacock jealous. You know, there's a legend that says these waters flow direct from a rainbow. outdoors again. The freight train just pulled into the Frontierland siding. The westbound passenger must be due. And here she comes. Let's hop aboard for a sightseeing trip of the Old West. romantic old-timers steam around the entire perimeter of Disneyland. Uh, but we're going to get off at the Indian village for the tribal ceremonies. Well, here we are, just in time for the ceremonial dances. This 
this is the Drum and Feather Club, who are special guests for our big studio party. An Indian is never too young to learn tradition. Target kids, so put those six shooters back in their holsters. Decades ago, every big river of America had its churning stern wheelers, but the Mark Twain is the only one of her kind in operation today. Let's join the Disney party excursion into the backcountry. This settler's cabin wasn't set afire just for our party today. It burns perpetually. Another favorite way of exploring the river is to paddle your own birch bark canoe with a real Indian guide. This chief waves to every passing boat and his arm never gets tired. In the village, this squaw's all-day grind allows no time for waving. This is the Indian sacred burial ground. Life is both wild and abundant in frontier land, and all the creatures are out to pose for pictures. It's best to be quick on the trigger, however, or you might miss your shot. When two canoes draw together, a race is sure to develop. You can use any paddle stroke you wish. It's every man for himself. And when the canoes catch up with the Mark Twain, they get a taste of fast water. passing Smuggler's Cove and the first signs of civilization. Just around the bend is Catfish Cove, a favorite spot of the hook, line, and sinker fans. There's always plenty of excitement when the Mark Twain returns from the wilderness. Let's catch the raft for Tom Sawyer's Island. This is your chance to drift back into the boyhood times of Tom and Huck. Everything on this island is for fun and for free. This is an early American grist mill run by water power. Inside, you can see how great-grandmother's cornmeal and flour were made. Tom and Huck's secret treehouse is the loftiest land point in Disneyland. 
From the top, you can high spy all of Frontierland. Believe it or not, three streams originate from the roots of this old oak. This one empties into the river here at Smuggler's Cove, and you can rumble across on the pontoon bridge. Once you've got the swing of it, you might try the suspension bridge above. Hang on, everyone. This is Huck Finn's favorite fishing spot, but everyone's welcome to try his luck. Bamboo poles, hooks, and lines are furnished. Even do-it-yourself bait. The fish are real, and they really bite. What's more, you can keep all you catch. Here's Injun Joe's mysterious hideout. If you like exploring, you'll find the island is honeycombed with caves. Deep in the passageways, you can discover strange rock formations and fossils. The rocks along the ridge of the island are just made for climbing. There's even a Stone Age teeter-totter. And a merry-go-round, too. Castle Rock is a labyrinth of caves. Getting lost in here is fun. These underground openings were built for a small fry to go through, but some of the adults can make it, too. That's assembly call. It's time for the Indians to attack. We're supposed to get inside the fort and help defend it. This exciting event was planned especially for the Disney Studio Party. There's no lack of volunteers for the stockade rifle platforms. Steady, everyone. Don't shoot till you see the color of their war paint. At these odds, there won't be any Indians left to attack. These brave warriors aren't retreating, it's just time for their coffee break. Our next adventure awaits us in Tomorrowland. This fantastic world of the future is just a few steps across the plaza from the worlds of yesterday and today. And as we enter, Tomorrowland's famous world clock shows the exact time for any place on Earth. If you're interested in a preview of tomorrow's airplanes, here's the place to see them in action. One of the newest additions here is the Monsanto House of the Future. It's always open house, so let's join the others for a preview of tomorrow's living. Dishwashing chores will be a pleasure, especially when this ultrasonic dishwasher does the job, and it never drops a one. Convenience is right at your fingertips here. While father has a quick electronic shave on the house, daughter finds a lavatory that can be tailored to size. And junior brightens up here and there with the electric toothbrush. Since its opening a short time ago, over one million guests have visited this home. 
Autopia is Tomorrowland's freeway to fun. If you can't reach up to the sign, you can't reach down the pedals. And so the small fry must shop for a smaller car. But Autopias come in all sizes, and these junior hot rodders head for the scaled down models. The driving age starts very young at the midget Autopia, and to keep peace in the family, everyone steers. <laughs> beginners should practice driving into a garage and out again. This would have helped when mom was learning to drive. Disneyland's Autopias are the safest of all super highways. There's never a traffic jam, a stoplight, or an accident on these freeways to fun. Gets up and circle around, don't drag your feet, they're off the ground. Do see do right where you are, then Alaban left around the star. Each Astrojet is under the control of its pilot. It's red jets up and blue jets down. Bust that barrier, it's solid sound. Keep on swinging, increase your pace, and promenade to outer space. Zoom into the stratosphere, jets hug your gals, it's cool up here. As I shake back around the moon, then down to earth with the same old tune. The dance is over, you did right well, so head for the plaza and rest the spell. Among the newest attractions in Tomorrowland are the fast, sleek view liners, the commuter trains of the future. And at the controls of this one is our host, Walt Disney. Walt has logged plenty of miles on all of the Disneyland trains. And since this is a special occasion, he'll be our special engineer. This is a streamlined way of seeing Tomorrowland. of tomorrow and yesterday are passing in review. Take your choice. Or if you prefer a boat ride, you can cruise in a motorboat through Tomorrowland's winding waterways. White water ahead, so it's shoot the rapids here. Skyway is a favorite way of traveling from Tomorrowland into Fantasyland. This aerial journey affords a sky view of most of the park. From this lofty midpoint, we glide into the land of make-believe. We're passing over the Jolly Roger, Captain Hook's infamous pirate ship. Later, he's invited us aboard for a seafood snack. And then we'll take a spin in the Mad Hatter's teacups. Ride through storybook land on Casey Jr., the famous circus train. And Dumbo, the flying elephant, has promised to give us a lift. Coasting into Fantasyland Skyway Terminal. Passengers also take off from this colorful Swiss chalet for Tomorrowland. Every day is a party day in Fantasyland, so let's just mingle with the crowds and enjoy the sights and sounds.
Peter Pan adventure, several of our party members are about to set sail for a flying voyage to Never Never Land. And this carefree crew had better man the guns, because they'll encounter plenty of pirates along the way. Mr. Smitty! Mr. Smitty! Here they come, Mr. Smitty! All right, Captain! Fire, Mr. Smitty! Shoot him down! When the Disneyland band stirs up a tune, it's tempo in a teacup. In this age of guided missiles and man-made satellites, Dumbo the Flying Elephant has the happiest orbit of them all. And here's Timothy, Dumbo's little pal and ringmaster. To travel the road with Mr. Toad is one ride you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Monstro the Whale has the biggest grin in all of Fantasyland, and it's a wide open invitation for us to enter Storybook Land. The planet of our boat will help us recall favorite childhood memories. The first story brought to life is that of the famous Three Little Pigs. Here are their houses, the one of straw, the one of stakes, and the wolf-proof one of bricks. Fratty's Riverbank House and Mr. Toad's magnificent mansion recalls the story of Wind in the Willows. Over the seven hills, past the seven waterfalls, lies the forest cottage of Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Casey Jr. is the busiest character in storybook land. Swiss Italian Alps lies Pinocchio's village. Often rain fell in the little village, but this time our weatherman happens to be a gardener. Tinkerbell says we better hurry or we'll miss the ceremonies at the town square. Hey, Tink, some fairy dust, please. At the end of each day, everyone pauses along Main Street to pay tribute to our country's flag.
now it's light up time all over Disneyland. At night, Disneyland wears her strings of jewels for the evening's festivities. And throughout the park, the tempo picks up. At the Plaza Gardens, our Disney studio party continues in full swing. outdoor party is complete without fireworks and this display literally highlights the end of a perfect day wonder where tink is these fireworks are real competition for her. Bravo, Tink. Take a bow. And thanks for being our hostess. <laughs>